Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins. Today we're looking at the scripture readings for the second Sunday in Lent. And these readings are exciting because they talk about change and they talk about covenant. And if you're like me, you're looking for change in your life. The reading from Genesis chapter 15 talks about the adventures of Abraham. And you know, God made three promises to Abraham and Abraham struggled with, how am I going to see these promises manifest in my life? Have you ever struggled with the promises of God and wondering, how is this going to manifest in your life? Well, God made a promise for a son to Abraham, but Abraham didn't see it coming because of his age, so he came up with his own plan. His own servant would be the one that would end up becoming his heir. And God said, no, 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 I'm going to give you your own son. In fact, he says to Abraham at that point, he brought him outside and said, look toward heaven and number the stars if you're able to number them. And then he said to him, so shall your descendants be. And he believed the Lord and he reckoned it to him as righteousness. Now what's interesting about that is that Abraham was brought out by God out of the tent and told to look up into the heavens and count the stars if you are able. And we oftentimes think that he stood there and he counted and counted and counted. But if you'll look down later in that chapter in verses 12 and 17, you'll see that the sun then began to go down, which means that most likely the sun was out when Abraham looked up into the heavens. So what did he see? Nothing. But were the stars there? Yes and he believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness. And so Abraham becomes our father in the faith and it was due to faith that Abraham changed in his life. And likewise in our lives, faith will change us. In the second reading, we go on and we find out in Philippians that we are promised that, that Christ will change our bodies one day. And then in the Gospel reading, we see Jesus at Mount Tabor in Galilee. It's the great transfiguration where he brings Peter, James, and John up on the mount with him. And he meets Elijah and Moses. And I imagine that that must have been an amazing moment because we hear the voice of the Father here, but we also hear the voice of the Father at the baptism of Jesus speaking about his son. But what's interesting here is what they're talking about in Luke's Gospel. Luke's Gospel tells us that Jesus was talking about his exodus, which would begin in Jerusalem. Now this makes total sense because Peter, he realizes that the exodus is the theme of the reading because he says, let's build three booths. And booths would speak of the Feast of Booths, which was a festival that Israel celebrated when they were becoming free from Egypt and they were in the desert. And so what about this transfiguration? What does it say to us? Well, if Jesus is talking about his exodus, which would begin in Jerusalem, he's talking about the Paschal Lamb, and he is the Paschal Lamb. He is the Passover Lamb. And at that Last Supper, Jesus gave himself. And it is in the Eucharist that we find the biggest change in our lives, that we are changed by God's Word, the liturgy of the Word, and we're changed by the Eucharist, the liturgy of the Eucharist. So I want to encourage you today to enter more fully into the Scriptures and experience the change that God wants to bring into your life. Become a man of faith. Become a woman of faith and become someone who fully enters in to the holy sacrifice of the Mass. For that is where God changes bread into his body and wine into his blood, and he changes your life into his life.